The Israeli military staged a large-scale raid in the occupied West Bank overnight. Palestinian health officials say at least eight Palestinians have been killed and more than a dozen injured. Israel says it was targeting the command centre for militant fighters in Jenin as part of what it called an extensive counter-terrorism effort. Israel's raid began long before dawn. The morning call to prayer, pierced by the sound of heavy gunfire. The Israeli military says it launched a missile after 1 a.m. local time and carried out drone strikes to clear the way for ground forces. Some 2,000 soldiers are said to be taking part in the large-scale operation. Its stated goal, destroying what the army calls terrorist infrastructure. Israel's military says it will not stand by while, quote, terrorists continue to harm civilians using Janine camp as a hideout. Later releasing images of what it says are seized explosives. This is the Palestinian perspective. Palestinian health officials say dozens of people have been injured in the Israeli strikes and the gun battle that followed, some of them seriously, meaning the death toll could rise further. What is going on in the refugee camp is real war. There were strikes from the sky targeting the camp. We drive around in five to seven ambulances and every time we come back full with injured people. And the daylight didn't bring any calm. Janine residents throwing stones at Israeli tanks from behind barricades. With masked militants filmed firing guns in nearly deserted streets. The current violence comes just two weeks after another deadly military raid in Janine, following a spate of Palestinian militant attacks on Israelis and attacks by Jewish settlers on Palestinian communities. Israel's foreign minister says there are no plans to expand the operation beyond Jenin. We are striking uh, the terrorism hub with a great strength. I want to emphasize that uh, we don't have a fight with the Palestinians. Actually, our fight is with the proxies of Iran in our region, which is mainly with the Hamas and the Islamic Jihad. Our goal is to focus in, uh, in Jenin, and our goal is to focus only on the terrorists uh, themselves. The Palestinian Prime Minister, however, has a different take, accusing Israel of an ulterior motive. There are dozens of injured people and they have destroyed the infrastructure and properties of innocent residents. This is an attempt to completely destroy the refugee camp and displace the residents. Israel's right-wing government recently announced plans to build more than 5,000 new homes in Jewish settlements in the occupied West Bank. They are illegal under international law and Palestinian voices say their very existence and the military raids make peace in the region impossible. Well, our correspondent Rebecca Ritters is in the West Bank near Janin. Earlier she spoke with my colleague Gerhard Elfers and told him what she could see. Hi, Gerhard. We're actually in Janine City, about 750 metres or so from the camp itself, where the IDF is conducting, the Israeli military, I should say, is conducting its quite stealthy, quite large raid on Janine camp. It says to try and rout out what it calls terrorist infrastructure, ter terrorists and, and target terrorist infrastructure inside the camp. Uh, I'll try and give you a little bit of a look around. You can see that the city is completely shut down behind me. We're told by locals here that the, uh, the IDF trucks actually came through here, that you, we can now hear them down sort of b behind me there, circling the, uh, the refugee camp, and we can hear uh, grenades, smoke grenades and tear gas being fired. Before, we were also able to hear gunfire, but we're a little bit too far away now. I, I, a little earlier, I was up at the hospital that is just outside the camp where the operation is taking place. The, whole, the streets were burning, rubbish was burning, people are throwing rocks at any, anything that 
any Israeli vehicles that come through. And we spoke to a couple of the paramedics there. They were saying they've not been allowed to get into the camp, that the Israeli military is stopping the paramedics to get inside, that there are many injured, even children inside the camp, but they're not able to access it at this point. We have uh, an official toll from the Palestinian uh, 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 from the Palestinian side saying it's eight people that have been killed, eight Palestinians have been killed. The, la the latest Israeli military figures are at seven, uh, but those numbers are likely to rise. This is an ongoing operation. Uh, and as I've said, there are lots of injured people inside. Hmm. Now, what about the timing of this, Rebecca? Why is this happening now? Well, tensions in the West Bank, particularly in the Northern West Bank, where Janine is situated, have been very high for the last 15, 16, 17 months. Uh an operation uh, to try and target militants in the area has been ongoing in that time and the city has seen nearly nightly raids or certainly cities throughout the West Bank have seen nearly nightly raids from the Israeli military during that time. Now in recent weeks, just two weeks ago in fact, there was another Israeli raid on Janine refugee camp and that didn't quite go to plan. One of the vehicles as it was retreating was targeted by a roadside bomb and that saw the, the mission turn into a rescue mission with Israeli soldiers tra and vehicles trapped uh, not able to get out of the city. So that was hours long. Now, in the wake of that, there were calls from the far right in uh, in the Israeli government. Calls, they were saying that we need a bigger operation here uh, in Janine, particularly in the north of the West Bank, a wider operation. And it does seem that this might be what you might say might be answering those calls. In, in, uh, after that big raid that happened just two weeks ago, there was some pal Palestinian gunmen in retaliation uh, opened fire at a restaurant, at a roadside restaurant in the occupied West Bank, killing uh, some Israeli settlers. And uh, they were, uh, Hamas claimed that shooting, and that was, uh, that was in retaliation. So the violence keeps on happening, and now we're seeing the Israeli military response. DW correspondent Rebecca Rich is there reporting. Thank you, Rebecca.